This is geometry lesson 11.2, similar polygons. Uh, two polygons are similar if and only if the corresponding angles are congruent and the corresponding sides are congruent. So basically what that means is two polygons are similar if the two angles, if all the angles in both shapes are exactly the same. So this angle A has to be exactly the same as this angle D. C the same as F. B the same as E. And then the sides have to be proportional, meaning that there has to be some sort of constant multiplier from corresponding sides. So AC to DF, or AB to DE. Um, so we're going to try to set up a proportion to test if these two shapes are similar. So I can compare this side here. and this side here, those are corresponding. I can also compare this side here and this side here, those are co corresponding. Okay, I can really choose um, any pairs I want to, 5 and 3, or 10 and 6, or even 15 and 9. I just need two pairs, and once I do, I can set up a proportion, um, each corresponding side matching up, so 5 to 3, and then 10 to 6. And we'll use what we did in the previous lesson to check if this is a, um, a true proportion. I can do one of two things. I can do my cross products. 3 times 10, that's 30. And 5 times 6, that's 30. If those proportions come out true, then yes, these polygons are similar. Alternatively, you could pretend that one of these is blank. If I hide the 3, then I would do 5 times 6, that's 30, 30 divided by 10, and that gives me my answer of 3. But as long as I can check this proportion is true, then yes, these are similar. If any of my pairs come out as not equal, then no, they're not similar. We'll do the same thing over here. Um, find the measure of x and the measure of y. I'll actually do y first. Um, that little bit at the top says if the polygons are similar, then the angles are congruent. So I know automatically that y is 83. I don't even have to do any multiplication, any division. The answer is exactly the same for the angles. For the sides then, I'll set up my proportion. I will match 18 to 24. Those two sides are corresponding and 21 corresponds to the unknown side that I'm trying to figure out. So that will be 18 to 24. And 21 to x. Then I can cross multiply and divide. If I do 21 times 24, and then divide that by 18 I get x is 28 feet that is it for the examples good luck on the exercises and please let me know if you have any questions